Sometimes I question what I'm even doing. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we uh, should get started. <laughs> All right, so here's the image that we're gonna work on today. I think what we're gonna start out with just bring this down just a little, not too much. Bring this up the tad. I'm actually gonna come into my curves. Alt click to lock that point. Alt click to lock this point and maybe bring that a little bit like that. I don't know. Okay, now let's boost up some saturation. Something of that nature. And let's check where our skin tones are quick. So we'll just make a power window and put it in her skin area. And then see the portion that we have selected. We will come down into our vector scope. You wanna make sure that you have a skin tones indicator enabled and we can see the color that's in the shot currently is right on that skin tone line so that is perfectly fine we can get rid of that selection let's refresh that let's look through the shot and see some things that we have to fix it seems like the first thing is we in the background we have a sunny day and you can see the sun here and she's in the shadow i'm guessing a tree and but then she has her, the highlights on her skin are blue instead of looking like they're like it's a sunny day it's kind of like a cooler feel so what we'll do we will try to pull some of that out um first let's come in and select some of this and see what kind of selections we can get we do have a little bit of compression in here that we have to work around flat bring this guy up and We'll start doing something of that nature. I think that's fine. Let's see where we get to with this. So we'll just warm up that just a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Play it. Okay, it's looking a bit warmer. That's where we started. This is where we're at now. All right. I'm gonna add another parallel, and I want to try to bring her up a little bit. I'll just bring her up just a bit. I'm going to see where we're currently sitting. Bring false colors in. This is a uh, open FX and oops, luminance. Okay, she is kind of darker. Normally, um, on a sunny day, you would want to see a lot of this um, in the 50, 60, even 70 area. Just overall bring the whole shot up. We can, after that, we can add a little bit of an S curve. Not much, just a little. I think that looks fine. Her eyes, a bit of a cast in them. So I want, I want to see those get uh, turned white. What we'll do is we will come into this one and uh, we'll try to grab this, her eyes. See if we can get a better uh, selection in there. Okay, now let's just pull out some of that saturation and then we will also lighten them just a tad. After. Okay, doesn't look bad. And we want to come into here, turn the bypass on, and attempt to track this. Come 
to our last node, track the other way, and let's see how we did. Okay, pretty good track. Turn everything on. Our shot is looking pretty good so far. I'm liking it. One last thing that I might want to do, and that we're actually going to do, is we are going to, her hair has a bit of compression as well as a tint to it. So, with it off, and that's with it on, you see a little bit of a, uh, a color difference, as well as um, down in here and in her shirt. And you see that color difference as well. Okay, but doing that, I am guessing, yeah, some of this over here is also selected. So what we'll do is we don't want that selected, so we're gonna throw in a power window to get rid of the selection over here. We are going to invert the power window so it's not using anything that's in this. And um, because that is in the background um, and I put this here, what's gonna happen is it's just going to track to that so that's not gonna work. So we're gonna refresh this and we will do something like that. Come over to frame, because we're gonna manually track this. So when you're in frame, each time you move anything, it's going to add a keyframe. So we'll come over, we'll have it add a keyframe here. Come over some more. We can just shift this whole guy over, over more. Shift it over, right. more, shift it over the tree. It's not a lot bad, but I'll fix it up. Over here, shift the tree again. Let's play through this. And eh, not too bad. Okay. So now, we play this. There is a little bit of noise, but that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. One other thing we can do, come in here, I'll add another parallel, and then let's just bring this over to like this area. And I will go into hue versus hue, come over into the greens, and we can drop that down, let's say something like that. And that will color the whole, all the green, so we don't want that. We'll bring this up, and we just want to have this over. We just want to have those shadows. So I'll make this a soft. And it's okay that like she's in it because since a hue versus hue, the um, that correction will only affect the green spots in the shot. So her being a part of this qualifier is perfectly fine. It's not that big of a deal. So it's only over in this area. So with it off, with it on, just a little bit of blue over there. It's not much, it just adds. And I am pretty satisfied. Okay, so let's quickly go over the, the grade that we built here. So our first one was just adding, or not having it be so washed out. Then our first node that we did, we added saturation in. And then our next one, we um, fixed the blue that was in the shot and we made it a little warmer. Our next one that we came in, we brightened the shot up. We determined that her skin needs to be brighter. And then we, um, got rid of the milkiness and added a little more contrast. Coming down to our next one, we uh, adjusted her eyes. We made them a bit uh, lighter and took away the blue. Coming down to the next one, we adjusted her hair and we got that tint out of her hair. 
And then finally we added the blue into the shadows in the background. And this node is just the node for the uh, false colors. So that wasn't anything. And that's how we built this grade here. Pretty happy with the results. With that being said, my name's JR and thanks for watching.